Little Grizz, what is it that you're doing today? Oh. Looks like you're playing a cup game, except with hat box. Well, no, really, what I'm doing here, I was going to show you bins, why I use the shims and everything. Okay, uh, what we're building is a very small buckaroo hat, okay? See, this one is not tall enough. This is a JB block, which is a Johnny Bingo block. Which uh, it's too short. This one right here is a little taller, but it don't get what I want. See, that's about right at five inches. Okay. Okay. And what style of hat are you building? A buckaroo. And where is this hat headed? It is headed to the tin shed in Wales. That the sounds, famous tin that, shed. That sounds very exciting. It is. Okay. And maybe I was wrong. Maybe I need a taller one. Okay. Which, this is a seven. Maybe I... Bingo! Found it! Hey! Bingo! Alright. Anyway. See, this is real tall here. Yes, we see that. But that makes a real, real good looking buckaroo. The other one, I mean, you can make them out of them other ones, but I like this better. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is the same as I did on the overpeat. So is this going to be the same color or the gray as the Oglesby? Yep. This is a gray? Hmm. No, this is not a gray. No, no, this is a pecan. Okay. So you're saying you do not need to spend the the hat flare does not have to stay hours in the water. Oh no. No. You're gonna be kinda of quick with it. And is your water boiling? It's right at that point, yeah. Just under boiling. So you can barely stand the heat of it. Barely. And it, I might have to put it back in the water a couple of times, you know. And again, he dips his hand in cold water so that he can stand the heat. Now, is that a trick you made up yourself, or is that a traditional process? Tr traditional. Okay, we saw that you pulled it all the way around to stretch it, and now you're going I'm to. It in. I might have put it. Okay, he checks the size again. Very important. Yeah, it's a little bug, that's okay, you know. And it goes back in the water for another douse. As you can see, the steam rising off the hat blank. And more pulling. I don't want that background noise. We, we do have some background noise at present. We have the Cubs are bringing in firewood for our wood stove that runs the whole process here. So we, we appreciate their work. They're a part of our process. This is a family business and everybody gets involved. And sometimes you see the hat is so eager to be made into a hat that it jumps off the block. <laughs> yeah. It just wants to crawl on over there and be a... It wants to be a buckaroo. It wants to go to Wales. Yeah. It wants to go to the tin shed. It just can't wait. <laughs> If I could only get to the tin shed.
let's take a peek and see if we can see an elusive cub in action. Yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, there we have one of the cubs in action, elusive. We have the Maudie cub. Smile, Maudie. Maudie this video Maudie, is going Maudie, to Wales. On, You're going on. to be famous on another <laughs> continent. Oh, she loves being around in front of the camera. I know it. Come on, Maudie. Okay, let's see if we can get a shot of what's happening. Oh, and there we have the elusive Alfred Cub carrying a mega load of wood. Thank you, Alfred, for supporting our industry. <laughs> Alfred, say hi to Wales. Oh. <laughs> this is the effect of New Year's yeah, on yeah, the them, Cubs. Yeah, I think she is love. Wood, I tell you. And the same thing, I'm gonna, now this time I'm going to take the contaminated string, which well, ain't contaminated, but it's just knotted up all the time. And same process, I'm going to go around, which, uh, so I notice you don't just go around one time, you go around quite a few times. I, roughly a half a dozen. See how it gets a good tight roll on it? Okay, so they roll together and lock oh, yeah. down. See, let's push it just like before. Push it everything in front. Now, um, kind of thinking about the Oglesby hat that you just made for the museum, when you roll that string down, is that what creates a little bit of a line, the break between the brim? Right, exactly, exactly. It reminds me of the hat they found in a bog in Denmark True. that was 700 years old and it still had that line showing. It That's was funny, right. in the in the museum they didn't quite know what the line was for, but it's it's from the blocking string, correct? Exactly, exactly. And it will, it will stay there. I mean, you know, but that's part of it. That's, uh, that shows you the sign that's handmade. We notice your spinning table. Is this something that you built yourself? What the? Your spinning table. I built the rest of it. No, it's stainless steel. I come from auto manufacturing. Ah. The ones that created the atmospheric dome we got over us. Ah. Over just over our business or over our whole town or what? The community. The yeah. whole community. Mm -hmm. ah. You really have to be careful about talking about that. You know, we might have spies among us. <laughs> So you think that our great pattern of storms passing around our community is due to a dome built yes. by Otter Manufacturing. You don't think it has anything to do with the river bluff that's just outside of town? No. No. Be, dome? No. Totally dome? Okay. No. <laughs> it's dome. At least that's what we believe. Okay. Okay. Step one. Thank you. 